Two Doors Down. If you haven't watched it, get it watched. It, I keep telling myself I've got my glasses on. It started back on Monday there for the fourth series, and it is funny as fuck. Like, I, honest to God, I was absolutely pissing myself laughing. Could not stop laughing. It's one of those kind of shows that's so relatable. And the good thing about it is you can watch it at any point. You can start watching it at any point and just get what's going on. So if you've not watched it, you could literally start watching it this Monday, episode two of series four, and be like, I get this, I get that, I get that. But you'll love it that much, you'll go back and watch them all. I mean, I, I heard about it in 2013. So 2013 started, the very first pilot episode. And I remember seeing it and being like, this guy, Tank Commander. There's, there's a little, uh, good cast. And I missed it, I never got to watch it. And I don't think it was in BBC Player back then. I don't think BBC Player was even kind of... I, no, it must have been. But I don't remember. I think I missed it and was just like, oh, I was gutted. I, I, never even th I don't think I even knew about BBC Player by then, back then, by the way. So, missed it. And then all of a sudden, my mum was watching it a few years ago. And I was like, I recognise them. And what is this? Oh, two doors down. And I think at that point, I managed to get it on Sky Demand. And we managed to watch the 2013 episode. Watch again. Backtracked it all. I think it was like half east through series three. And I was like, oh my God. And I managed to find them all on Amazon Prime. So I was like, I'm watching them all. Watched them all. And I watched them. I keep watching them and rewatching them and rewatching them. I, like, I've actually spent like the last week watching like the three seasons again and again. Because they're so funny. And you just, you never get bored of them. And they're so easy to watch. Just shove them on and watch an episode for like 25 minutes or whatever. So this new series, series four started. It started with a bang. It was funny as hell. Uh You've got the new cast, well, two new cast members, Grado and, uh, I can't remember her name, uh, I think it's Joy McAvoy, it's James McAvoy's little sister, she's brilliant, she just like stands up, because like, Jonathan Watson plays Colin and his wife in it, well, his wife in the show is called Kathy, and they're like, they're kind of, not, well, they are snob, they're snobby, but they're not, they're kind of common as muck, but they try and act as if they're like, pure like, you know, Peter patter and they've got all the money in the world and stuff like that. But you're just like, he's a wee dick and she's just a stuck up cow who reminds me of someone that I'm not going to say because I'll, I mean, but like I said, it's relatable though because you look at like, you look at like, cat, look at like, look at like, look at like, you look at like Eric and Beth, that's at mum and dad. Eric just been like, oh, I don't care, just, uh, and Beth always, always being, um, happy to help but kind of gets shot on so it's kind of relatable to my family like they get the praise they need but they kind of i don't know just as what as man so they're funny as hell um and then you've got obviously like i said kathy and colin the bloody but they're not really and then you've got alan and michelle obviously great when uh, james mcavoy's little sister and you've got elaine c smith plays Oh, Keith, Christine, I keep forgetting her name, Christine, she's just funny as hell, she's just like, oh, is that a, uh, fucking lunatic, she'll just pop out with something, you're like, oh my god, man, it's cringeworthy, so, it started there, series four, funny as hell, like I said, I don't think I've said this, but you can watch it at any point, no, I have said that, you can watch it at any point and still get it, so I, I praise, I praise it all the time, it's it, like, it's up there with still Game and Tuna Fat and Rap Scene is, but, it's so basic, so standard, and so easy to watch. And I actually tweeted saying, oh, it's back, happy days, greatest episode they've had yet. I'm seriously looking forward to this whole series. Please, I mean, I hope I hope they do. It's one of those kind of shows that they can keep making them, I think, and maybe add another neighbour or two and just keep it fresh like they've done with Alan and Michelle. Sorry, Alan and Michelle. So I tweeted it, tagged Jonathan Watson, uh, obviously Jonathan, only an excuse Watson, and I tagged Grado, who obviously plays Alan, the Scottish wrestler, yes, Grado, yes, it's yourself, um, and they both retweeted my tweet, and I was like, oh my god, yes, and so did one of the writers of the show, I was like, yes, <laughs> three for the price of one, um, and then I, uh, I tweeted a screenshot of Jonathan Watson like my tweet, and he retweeted that as well, and he liked that as well, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, this is fantastic. So my goal now is to get them to retweet this and like this, I'm going to put it on YouTube, put it on Twitter, and get them to retweet or tag, tag this, or whatever, I don't know, do what you want, please. Um, but yeah, Two Doors Down is a great show, absolute great show, funny as hell, and you just, you, it's non-stop laughing, non-stop laughs, like, it, oh, it's just... It's, just keep it going. Keep this show alive. Keep it fresh. Keep it going. The fresher it is, the more the more the more you want. You're going to want it. But yeah.
interesting, Lord Jesus Christ, man, just the fuck is he doing?